Okay, hello. Today I will be going to demonstrate to you the design of foundation or foundation design using uh, stud foundations. So I got here a pre modeled structure. This is a reinforced concrete structure for a two story building. So already done analyzing this and design so right now I'm going to go to the foundation design tab and then select available load cases these are the load cases these are the primary load cases I'm going to include so after clicking or highlighting this just press include and then run start that foundation so what will what will happen is you, it will be redirected into the program or the the application for the stud foundation in this case I'm using an older version this is the release 5.3 so right here it is now automatically being modeled So for starters, you might want to fill in this uh, informations right here. But for the sake of uh, demonstration, let's now pr proceed directly to this uh, foundation plan. So there's a main navigator tree right uh, in the middle, or uh, right in the uh, at the left side so if, if you click column dimension so there's a radio button if you want to consider pedestals so just uh, click this yes if you want to consider pedestals okay so in the next you might want to go to create um, here in the create new load cases and then here you might want to change this load cases if you remember this was the load cases we just extracted or imported from our start pro model here so, so this was the load cases 10 load cases four earthquake loads four wind loads one dead load and one live load so going back to our start foundation so if you click this load case one this is earthquake in the positive x direction so this is actually a primary load case and under the loading type drop down menu so you want to choose this seismic x so e negative x this is primary load case and again seismic x so E plus Z this is seismic Z and E minus Z is seismic Z so for this wind load positive X this is also a primary load case and the loading type is wind X wind load negative x so wind load x wind load positive z this is wind load z oops so wind negative z primary this is wind z 
dl is actually the dead load and then ll is the live load so next we're going to generate load combination so you might want to click this this will automatically generate load combinations under service load combination and this and this option right here is for ultimate load combination just click generate load and then the program will automatically generate all the possible loading combinations right so if we can see here so our this is our primary load cases and then these are the generated load combinations this is for the service loads when we design the sizes of our foundation this is the load combination that the program will automatically uh, used and then this is for the ultimate load combination for the design of strength and, and the design of the reinforcement okay so next here in the main navigator under job setup uh, you might want to Let us fill this information right here. Foundation. And then the job job type. We'll just we'll, we'll just use isolated. There also an option for pile cap, mat, and combine. So in this case we'll just use isolated and then design code is US. The default unit type will use the SI and then right here under the loading the available load cases so these are the load cases that was uh, imported from the stud pro so what we're going to do is we will select this generated load cases right here what I'm going to do is just I will click this include all and then click this primary load cases and we'll just return that from this available load case box so from there let's click create job button so there so if you notice right uh, in the left in the navigator uh, main navigator three uh, this is the additional option right here the isolated footing job so if you click that and you expand this design parameters so we will be so we'll have this uh, data input pane here for concrete and rebar so can input the values right here so we'll use a minimum bar size of uh, 16 and the maximum of 20 yield strength of steel we will use the grade 40 rebars and the strength of concrete is uh, 3000 psi that would be equivalent to 21 megapascals so next uh, cover and soil data input one once again the drop down menu uh, for soil type you can choose drain condition or undrained condition in this case we'll use the undrained condition and then the bottom clear cover unit weight of soil soil bearing capacity in this case let us uh, use a lesser number let's say let's use 90 
kilopascal and then the depth of soil above footing let's say this is uh, one meter and then the source charge for load for the loading if there there's any source charge and then the depth of water table let us say only a meter one meter depth of water table and then the cohesion this cohesion value right here cannot uh, edit this cohesion less mean, uh, meaning for the sandy soil so undrained shear strength and minimum percent of contact area and then you might want to set that as your default values so that you can uh, utilize that later or for the other jobs or you might want to just say no so it, this is up to you and the next is the footing geometry uh, if you want to change this this is the incremental uh, So in this design type drop down menu you can choose calculate dimension set dimension fixed width so let's just uh, choose this calculate dimension minimum length uh, you might want to set the minimum length of your footing let's say one meter as well as the minimum width the minimum thickness of 300 maximum length 12 meters maximum length uh, maximum width 12 meters maximum thickness one and a half meters plan dimension thickness increment so because we just this calculate dimension meaning that the increment is by 50 milli so that this is the increment thickness and then you can set that as your default values next is for the sliding and overturning you can change this values right here so in this case let us not change any of this and then that's it you can now click for this design button we want to analyze design let's click yes and then the program will run the analysis in the design so this is now the result this is the output right here at the bottom you can see this we have nine footings then remember this we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine footings and this is the summary output or the ISO isolated footing design summary if you want to see the detail here this is the tabulated detail the general arrangement drawings and then the calculation sheets for the nine isolated footing design so if you want to click this first footing the isolated footing 50 can now see the results here so this is uh, these are the loading combination that was generated late uh, earlier for the design for the service stress level for the design of the sizes of the footing and the load combination for strength level when you, when you design the strength and the reinforcement So this is the results, the calculation sheet results. Pretty comprehensive uh, calculations right here. Simplified way of uh, using this very useful program, Start Foundation V8i release 5.3. So that's it for now and see you next time.